The woman is undracing to put medicine on her wound when she suddenly realizes that there is a man behind her staring at her. Myra angrily approaches the man and confronts him, only to realize that he is also a captive. It turns out to be an island dominated by a dragon. After observing the terrain, she started cutting her hair with a rock. It turns out she's going to weave her hair into a rope to escape. Before leaving, she held out her hand to the man, wanting to be his friend, but the man suddenly grabbed Myra's hand and pulled her towards the cave. Myra broke away from the man's hand with all her might. At that moment, the cave suddenly began to shake. The dragon swung its wings wildly and beat the cave. The falling rocks and the dragon's roar terrified Myra. After the dragon left, she began to call out to the man. But no one answered her after a short period of grief. Myra grabbed a rope made of her hair and started to run away. But she failed. She fell. Desperate, Myra took up the stone again and threw them in the direction of the man. The stone suddenly collapsed in front of her, and it turned out to be a blocked hole. 